Hi, this is Shelly Sparks. I'm coming to you from my own garden and tomorrow I'm going to be removing this um, Tupidanthus, this beautiful Tupidanthus that has uh, ruined my planter and will soon find its way into ruining the pavement. It's already caused some difficulty with my uh, with the post the upright post um, so you can hear that I'm I'm enumerating the problems with it because I'm very sad to see it go whenever you take a plant out especially a big one like this a tree you want to really send it off in a way that you would send off a dear friend or um, uh, family member and indeed I'm very sad to see this guy go so today I'm planning to do I'm planning to have a discussion with my plant and um, do a feng shui ceremony to remove uh, to remove to thank it for its service and thank it for its time and um, to allow its spirit to be free of this particular incarnation and um, th that may sound really strange to some people that uh, that don't really work with with plants and um, but for people that are um, that have a feeling about plants they know what I'm talking about when they hear that plants uh, really need to be acknowledged and um, honored when they're about to be removed. So this is something that I would say to all of you, whether you believe in feng shui or not, that, that your plants are really a, a, a gift to you and when they are removed it's important to acknowledge their um, passing just as you would acknowledge the passing of a good friend. This is Shelley Sparks. If you'd like more information about feng shui and feng shui in the landscape, check out my book, Secrets of the Land, Designing Harmonious Gardens with Feng Shui, available on Amazon or my website, www.harmonygardens.net. Thanks for listening.